I'm going to take you on a little tour of the 66 Ford Galaxy 500 convertible. car hasn't been run for uh, about two weeks so you get a chance to see it on a cold startup once I find the right key wrong key try again there we are a couple pumps this does not have the original engine was a 352 it is now a 289 Cobra engine also has a C6 transmission with a shift kit better look at it. Body is straight, solid. There are a few small pinholes of rust in the trunk pan, the very bottom of the trunk pan inside. Outside any rust is cut out and replaced with sheet metal. It is straight, solid, excellent condition. Front and rear bumpers have both been replaced. Take a look down the side. Ball joints and bushings, tie rods have been replaced. Has new rims and tires. American racing rims. Interior is in nice condition. Front seat, back seat. Nice, clean vinyl, bright red. Door panels are in nice shape. Carpets don't have any rips, but they are a little faded. Dash pad is just okay. It really should be replaced. There's a few small cracks on the passenger side starting and a piece of vinyl was stretched over the main pad at the driver's section. So really it could use a new dash and some new carpets, but that's about it for inside. It's a new white convertible top. It goes up and down fine. However, buried in here is one of these cylinders has developed a small leak it does go up and down but it is losing some fluid so you would want to replace this one top cylinder the motor to lift the top is fine and all the lines are fine it's got a great sound that exhaust which is new all the way to the back dual exhaust No rot in the frame, no rot in the floor pans, no rot in the rocker panels, nothing like that. Take a look under the hood. Clean under the hood. Car does have power steering, manual brake. The engine runs smooth and quiet. Never been hit. There's no kinks in any of the inner inner fender wells or the radiator support. Some of the emblems were old and pitted. So the uh, Ford letters for the hood weren't replaced yet. So they were in bad shape. As were the uh, Galaxy 500 emblem that would go right here on the quarter panel. The holes are still there. So 
I get a chance, I'll replace them. If not, it's not a big deal. You can find them at most car shows, and they're all still available. I did put a uh, aftermarket set of gauges. You can see the oil pressure uh, at idle. It's up around 50 pounds. Uh, I have not yet hooked up the temperature or voltmeters. But it is a nice set of Sun Pro gauges. And the car is for sale for $7,500. Just in time for your summer cruise. Shoot me an email. I'm in Philadelphia, PA.